In a global economy ruled by knowledge and ideas, you don't need a big workforce, an enormous amount of time, or a major influx of investment capital to create a strong economy at home. All these things help. But above all, what you need is smart people who can use existing technology to innovate new technology. And this is where we in Arkansas can shine. Our greatest strength does now and always has lie laying in the character of our people. An uncanny streak of native ingenuity that has created a tradition of business achievement that's really tough to beat. Sam Walton built the world's largest retail corporation and more importantly revolutionized distribution and logistics. John Tyson took a local product and created a worldwide market. J.B. Hunt, John Cooper, Witten Jack Stevens, John H. Johnson, all started from nothing or nearly nothing to build empires. And most of those people have rural roots. Forrest Wood was born in Marion County in 1932 and worked on a construction crew building Bull Shoals Dam while he was still a teenager. In 1955, he began working as a fishing guide. And by 1968, he'd begun building boats in the back of a filling station in Flippin. He built six that first year. In 1969, he built 600. When his factory burned in 1971, he nailed a telephone to a tree next to the building and kept taking orders. He was back in production in 40 days. Forrest Wood didn't just invent the bass boat. boat. He invented a culture and an industry wor worth more than $50 billion a year. His story lights our way forward because it reminds us that new ideas have always sparked Arkansas's growth. So today I ask each of you, will you be that spark in your community? Will you take today's ideas and lessons home and use them to light a fire in your county? Oh, I'm grateful to each one of you for being here today, but today is only the beginning. We need more from each of you. Arkansas needs more from each of you. If you're going to be the spark that ignites the change we need, I ask you to challenge your friends and neighbors and colleagues to join us. Pull them together. Make a plan and get to work. Be a leader, be that spark, hone your community into a confident, cohesive team focused on creating a workforce to compete for new jobs in a global economy. How do I know we can do it? Because we've been able to do this, this summit, having more than 1,400 Arkansans from all 75 counties come to get together to discuss education and economic development is unprecedented. The steps we will take to get the jobs that we need for our future will also be unprecedented. I won't be satisfied until working together we have created the opportunity for every Arkansan who will work to make the most of his or her own life and until we've given all of our children the kind of future that they need and that they deserve. I talk about our quest to bring jobs to Arkansas. But I want to reiterate what I've said to many of you so many times you're probably tired of hearing it. I will fight every state in the union to bring good jobs to Arkansas. I'll fight every country on the globe to bring good jobs to Arkansas. What I won't do is choose one community in Arkansas over another. I often say it's like your children. All our communities are like your children. You, you love them all the same. I also add you don't always like them all the same, <laughs> but you love them all the same. So don't ask me to pick Jonesboro over Newport or Fayetteville over Rogers or Fort Smith over Waldron or El Dorado over Crossit or Little Rock over Helena, because I won't do that. Why is that important? Because if we fight and we get somebody looking at opportunities within the state of Arkansas, if they give us a list of six or eight communities that have the demographics and the geography and the all, all the things that they want, we're going to show them all six or eight communities or 12 or 15 or however many they might be that fits their needs. Then it's up to the local community to separate itself from its brethren, if you will, to close the deal. And the more communities you see that we have ready 
The more they have to choose from, the greater the opportunity we have in Arkansas to do better. I tell you people, we're all in it together as a family. You folks that are living in places where it is tough economically, don't you dare begrudge the prosperity of Northwest Arkansas. Applaud it. They are helping all of us when they do well. Don't be jealous of what happens in Jonesboro or Little Rock or Conway. Applaud it. They help all of us. Conversely, don't you folks in Northwest Arkansas or Jonesboro or Little Rock or Conway or Searcy or anywhere else, don't you begrudge any extra assistance we have to provide in the Delta or in South Arkansas. They deserve the same opportunities and same quality of life that the folks that are doing well. If they need a jump start, they deserve a jump start. If they are your brothers and sisters and we are in this together, then we all hurt together when somebody hurts and we celebrate together when somebody succeeds. I'll tell you one quick anecdotal story. I probably shouldn't tell this. Everybody's going to go crazy backstage when I tell it. But I think it's illustrative of where we are and where we can come. We just announced uh, earlier this week uh, a uh, new manufacturing plant in Jonesboro. Many of you read about it in the papers called Nice Pack. It was uh, a little bit of serendipity how it happened. Lee Scott and I were speaking together in Benton, uh, Bentonville at a Benton County, Benton County uh, Cancer Research, I think we're in Rogers actually, Dickie, at a, at a cancer uh, research fun, fundraising uh, event. It was last year, last uh, winter, December, I think. And there was a guy sitting at the table. His name was Robert Julius. He lives in New York. He was there because Walmart's his biggest customer, and he is the CEO and actually owner. It's not a, I mean, it's a family owned company. It's a pretty big company. They have plants in Indianapolis and uh, North Dakota, I think, and two places in Europe and one place in China. Pretty big operation. They make all these handy wipes. Every, every kind of brand just about. Their own brand as well as for other people. Handy wipes not only for your own use and household and business, but also for healthcare. And so he said, you know, he said, uh, our, we were looking to expand uh, and build another plant or expand one of our existing plants. And we looked at Arkansas, and actually, we actually looked at a place called Jonesboro, Arkansas, but we rejected it. And I said, why? He said, well, I don't know. It's our people that, that do that, and that, uh, they just rejected it. And I said, well, wait, time out. I said, let me talk to you about that. So we talked. The next day, we got a phone call. We talked some more. And uh, we had him down to... Uh, to the mansion. Ginger made him tea and cookies or something. I don't know. We talked some more. He came back and he talked to, uh, he brought his wife the next time. Talked some more. Maria Haley and her team went to work. People in Jonesboro went to work. Before long, he decided he was going to consider Arkansas again. And before long, he made the decision he was going to come to Arkansas. He ended up going to Jonesboro. We announced that earlier this week, 300 jobs and an R&D component that will require science and technology and all the things that we're sitting here talking about. I'm sitting in the office yesterday. Now, this just happened Monday, Clem. I'm sitting in the office yesterday, and a phone rings. And it's Robert Julius on the phone, the CEO of this company that we just announced. He said, hey. I got this friend of mine who we do business with. He, he's the CEO of an Austrian company. And uh, actually what they do is they take pulp and they convert it into fiber. I, he didn't tell me, but I suspect it's one of their suppliers on some of the handy wipes. He said he's talking about going to Mobile or expanding the plant in Mobile. He said, I said, why do you want to do that? You ought to go to Arkansas. Those people down there are wonderful. 